The KCBC CEO, Dr. Martin Oduor, interacted with Kenyans in London to showcase the profile of the bank. The aim was to reach out to old and new customers as part of their Meet the Diaspora Investors Roadshow. The purpose of this meeting, just to set that out very, very clearly, really is, uh, is for KCB to interact with the yourselves, uh, Kenyans, East Africans living uh, here in the UK, to discuss <coughs> uh, general updates about what's going on in Kenya uh, on, on the economic side and, 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 on, and uh, a little bit on the sort of administrative and political side to the extent that it affects the economy. Um, at most specific, I'll talk about KCB, uh, who we are, a little bit of our story, who we are, uh, how we are impacting the economic development in Eastern Africa. KCB um, is targeting to open over 1 million accounts this year. Of um, interest to uh, the diaspora is the introduction of the diaspora uh, support team, which deals with KCB, issues arising. Uh, Dr. Oduor appreciated the challenging environment Kenyans abroad work in. Hence, KCB is hoping to ease the complications and bureaucracies when dealing with clients from abroad. If they can have that agent who will be answering the question to, to the people, I think that will work very easily for, for the people who are in the diaspora. We would like to engage more and more with the diaspora. We would like to um, launch particular diaspora products which are tailored to the needs of the diaspora community and which facilitate uh, better access, uh, greater flexibility uh, and uh, and simplicity of processes that will ensure that uh, the objectives of the diaspora community, whether it is in operating uh, uh, bank accounts or investment uh, in Kenya, in East Africa, in Africa, uh, that those objectives are met. The Q&A session was dominated by grievances emanating from operational level, yet it would have been more productive to suggest changes to policies that affect banking when abroad. Saying that, the CEO needed to hear that customers demand better services from the cashiers to the executives. If I were to buy um, the shares in KCB, what is the best option for me? Buy as a Kenyan or buy as a foreigner? So how are we going to catch up with the rest of the banks? in Kenya, which are moving very fast. Indeed, there are those who are waiting for these news to go out there so they can see what is KCB bringing to us in the diaspora. So what is your communication plan? Why don't KCB now, in this new era and age, even have a terminal where you can be transacting and asking questions, even saying some few things here and where you can connect with Nairobi? There are solutions, and solutions lie here in this room because you are engaging. Kenya is now in a campaign mood with elections just around the corner. As Dr. Oduo pointed out, we all have a collective responsibilities to enable peaceful elections because if not, the economy will be massively affected. Lesson learned from the 2007 elections. I made reference to the fact that we were growing so well after 2007. Then we collapsed in 2007 for one year. In fact, for 90 days. And to recover from 90 days at the end of 2007, 2008, has taken us five years, and we have not even got to where we were in 2007 in terms of growth rates. I think if we had managed that election properly, the 7% would be 10% today, at least. I just think that there's a role that the diaspora can play in terms of uh, cooling down the tempos amongst our politicians, because you know them. They are related to you. Uh, they visit London, they talk to you, uh, etc. Kenya Commercial Bank will be back within the year, hopefully with tailored products and plans to serve diaspora better. We are waiting to hear what they have to offer and believe it viewers, UKEN TV will be at the forefront to pass this information to you, deserving clients.